Welcome to Wisdom for the Day, a thought-provoking trek through the book of Proverbs, where timeless wisdom awaits. Join us as we unlock the secrets of Proverbs and transform our minds towards embracing true and godly wisdom. Each day, we'll reflect on a different proverb in order, unraveling its layers of insight and practical application. Get ready to be inspired, challenged, and empowered to live a life of purpose and righteousness. Wisdom for your day starts now. Today is day 185. We are in the 16th chapter of the book of Proverbs, verses 7 and 8, from the New Living Translation. When people's lives please the Lord, even their enemies are at peace with them. Better to have little with godliness than to be rich and dishonest. Verse 7, our lives should please God. We should do the things that are right, and we should respect God. God can cause our enemies to become our friends. This doesn't always happen immediately. First, we ourselves must become friends of God. God accepts us because Jesus died for us. See Ephesians 2 and John chapter 14. In verse 8, most Christians aren't wealthy. We might have a few possessions, but we should earn our money fairly. God helps the poor man who's honest, and God will punish the rich man who's not honest. The first proverb assures us that if we try to obey God's commandments, and he'll watch out for us and protect us from those who want to cause us harm. Verse 8 tells us that money isn't everything. It doesn't say that having a lot of money is bad, but getting money through unjust means is wrong. In other words, when making money, if you have the choice between making a lot through, uh, through bad means or making a little through just means, Always choose the just way. So let me ask you, what should you do if you work for a company that operates immorally, even if it's legal? For example, there's some banks that charge extra fees that aren't required. And some pharmaceutical companies charge outrageous prices for essential drugs or try to turn teenagers into drug addicts. Should you report the company and risk losing your job? Hmm? Well, that's all for today, but I'll be back tomorrow with more of Solomon's wise teachings. For free Wisdom of the Day merch, head to buymeacoffee.com forward slash renewed mindsets and consider becoming a community member. The executive producer of Wisdom for the Day is Yelena McClellan. The co-producer and spiritual advisor is Kimmy Shirley. Intro music by Weston McCurry. If you like this show, do me a favor and tell someone about it. Share it with them. I'd really appreciate it. Until tomorrow, I'm Rick. I love you. See ya. Hello. You ever feel defeated as a Christian in the confusing times we live in today? This is where God's Loving Sacrifice podcast comes in. We do Bible studies to help you strengthen your walk with the Lord in today's crazy world. We also encourage you to share the gospel and the love of Christ with this world in need. John 3.16 tells us about God's loving sacrifice, and we use the Word of God to help you find a fresh perspective on issues like forgiveness, love, obedience, mercy, and reconciliation. Join us as we delve into the true essence of faith in God and our call to go into the world and preach the gospel. So listen at www.godslovingsacrifice.com.